is Rooster, and Rooster is a goat, which is ironic because his name is Rooster, but I digress. Now, this is Karen, and Karen is also a goat. So you may be wondering, how are they both goats, but they look so different? Well, how is one goat so big and one goat so little? Well, the answer lies in their genetic inheritance, and the reason they look so different is because of their phenotypes. According to Britannica.com, the definition of a phenotype is all the observable characteristics of an organism that result from the interaction of its genotype, or the total genetic inheritance, with the environment. Examples of observable characteristics include behavior, biochemical properties, color, shape, and size. This explains why Rooster is small and black, while Karen is big and multicolored. Phenotypes help to explain why all living things look different from one another. Phenotypes are the physical representation of an inherited gene. For example, if a cat has white fur and black fur, or black fur, that cat has the possibility of producing a black, white, or black and white cats. The genetic makeup of an animal, plant, or person is referred to as a genotype. There's a genotype for everything, and making up the genotype are little things called alleles. Alleles are the different variations of a given gene. For example, eye color has blue, green, or brown alleles. Alleles can be both dominant or recessive. Dominant genes show up the most, and recessive genes show up the least. Dominant genes are represented in a genotype with a capital letter, and recessive genes are represented with a lowercase letter. If there are two of the same alleles in a genotype, it is called homozygous, and two different are referred to as heterozygous. Luckily, there is a point to all of this. If you know the genotype of both parents of an animal, you can predict the phenotype of the baby using something called a Punnett square. Here's an example using traits in cattle. So to make a Punnett square, draw this little box on the floor. According to beefcattleextension.org, red coats are a recessive trait in cattle. So suppose we had a homozygous mother and a heterozygous father. So the homozygous mother would go over here and her traits are gonna be represented with two lowercase r's. So you put them either side over here. And the father is a heterozygous, so he goes up here. So the lowercase r's represent a red coat and the uppercase r represents a black coat. So then to fill in the Punnett square, you fill it in with crosses. So these two cross, and this square gets a capital R and a lowercase r. These squares cross, capital R, lowercase r. These squares cross, lowercase r, lowercase r. And these squares cross for two lowercase r's. So according to this Punnett square, the baby has a 50% chance of having a black coat and a 50% chance of having a red coat. Big, small, short, or tall, phenotypes explain it all.